Hello, sneak peekers. It's Simi, and I'm here on the red carpet for South by Southwest. We're going to be talking to some of the cast and crew from Sing Sing. Can't wait to get into it. Clint actually invited me to be a part of Sing Sing about three months before production. Uh, so uh, they were, uh, him and, and Greg uh, were, were a part of this long six year development process, but I'll let you. Yeah, uh, Greg and I had been working on the script and, and developing the project for many years and when we got close to making it we knew we needed a producer who just felt right and we had a, an amazing amount of respect for Monique and the films that she had made in the past and just the way that she approached filmmaking in general um, and uh, and building communities around films and it just we were so lucky to be able to work with her. Absolute dream team right here. I love this duo. All right, so you recently mentioned this was almost like a seven year process. Could you walk us through what that was like having to persevere through those almost seven years? Yeah, uh, it was it was it was awful at times. <laughs> but no, we um, it it was very difficult, but it was a very difficult film to make. It wasn't it wasn't very clear in terms of like a typical I don't know genre film or something like that and Greg knew what he wanted it to feel like and knew what he wanted it to make and it just like in a way it seemed like it needed to wait for its time to be right and if we had made it earlier it wouldn't have been the same film that we made and we needed to find the community around it and find Coleman and find Monique and find everybody else and the film happens when it happens I don't know could I get a quick hook up from y'all real quick I'm one of the founding members, and just to know that some, we're doing something to talk about the program that helped so many of us, I was all on board. It didn't matter what was on the script. It's an honor to just be with one of the founding members right now. I mean, when you first heard about this program, were you like, oh, like it's the arts, like I'm not a theater kid, like how did you feel? When they first approached me, I was lifting weights in the yard. Oh, wow. You know, lifting weights in the yard, I said, Hey, Dino, say this, say that. I'm like, said it. He's like, come on out of the school building, man. We're getting together a theater group. I said, a what? He said, a theater group. I said, bro, this is a maximum security facility. You mean to tell me you want me to put on tights and, and talk about to be and not to be in a maximum security facility? Man, stop playing with me. You know, And all the stereotypical things was going to mind with this until I walked into that room and we all just came together as a community, which made me totally understand what a community was. At one time, I didn't know. Are you hoping that with the making of Sing Sing that more programs like RTA are, be, are being able to, give in, to be given more of that platform to? Absolutely, Absolutely. That's, that's one of the primary purposes of this production is to create a movement to enlighten people to the fact that there are instruments, there's methods, there's tools out here that we can use to make society a more safer, more productive, and a more healthier place. Right now, we have a 3% recidivism rate. People that go through our program, RTA, they don't come back to prison. 3%, now that's phenomenal when you compare it to society's 70% of guys that when they get out, they got a 70% recidivism rate. So we have something special and we want to offer that to the world. What does it mean to have that accurate um, storytelling like put on the big screen, like being able to contribute your experiences to this project? It's phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's, it's a blessing. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. And to this day, I'm still kind of pinching myself to see if this actually really happening because it's like amazing. And to have a uh, a prominent, you know, excellent, superb actor such as Coleman Domingo to play me in a movie, I'm still speechless. Honestly, it's been amazing watching your career progress. Um, I mean, from Rustin, Euphoria, all of that. So I want to know, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Hopefully doing all the things that I've been doing and on different platforms as well. I feel like I've always sort of played outside the margins in my own career on different platforms, whether the theater and film and television. And I hope you just keep, being, keep doing that. I, I have a production company and that's very important to me to make sure that other voices are out there and that I amplify other voices and stories. And that's very important to produce even more. I would really love to know more about that process of you know creating that camaraderie um, with your cast and the crew and things like that. Do you think that translates well over screen? I think it translates very well over screen because we came together collectively to make this film and on set, it was like one take, just keep it moving, one take. And it's because we know each other so well. 
And so that translated on the screen and made the movie what it is today. For us, this is definitely not just a movie. This is definitely something much bigger. It is a movement, and it's a movement about advancing humanity. It's a movement about saying that there may have been some people that were forgotten, but if we can canvas them to the society and society can see the true spirit of humanity lying within them, then maybe they'd be willing to give them a second chance. We are a student publication, and um, a lot of us are really interested in entering the entertainment industry um, post-grad. Um, a lot of us also want to contribute to a more accurate storytelling of real lived experiences in Hollywood. What advice would you have to those people looking to create more accurate stories within Hollywood? Well, I think that the best thing that anybody can do is stay true to who they really are. And when you do stories and you try to make films, you should be true to the humanity in that moment. I would say continue to be open and allow your passion to guide you. Have a message in mind that you want, that is your truth, something that you want, and you want to set it up and keep going for it. Because it's a rough business, there are going to be setbacks all over the place. My wife, Janice Klein, can tell that there are ups and downs in this business. But the beauty that can be a person sticks to it, believes in themselves and in their talent, um, that's, the, that's the main thing. All right, Sneak Peekers, if you enjoyed that interview, be sure to follow us on all social platforms at Sneak Peek TV. See you guys later.